I decided to try another Fallout New Vegas challenge run. This time, unarmed, but with a twist. All my keys, inverted, from WASD to aim and fire. Also, I'm on the hardest difficulty, playing on hardcore mode. To start with, I named my character, inverted backwards. Huh. I can't say it. What and Doc Mitchell immediately you, insulted me. Gave him a big old beak. And a pointy chin to match. I made myself strong and agile, but also dumb as a log. And Doc Mitchell, of course, had something Sorry, to say son. about that, too. I fixed up your head as best I knew how. I guess I missed a spot. Did my tag skills and traits. And then I went to chat and traded all of my stuff. Including the weapon repair kits, which I would come back for later. And then I pretty much ignored all of Good Springs from there. These boxing gloves would come in handy. Being in hard mode, I quickly died to the geckos. After reloading my save, I actually equip my armor this time, and it's time for round two against the geckos. With the knockout ability, it's pretty easy to actually take out a big pile of geckos. After dealing with the final gecko, and I run into Barton Thorn. I'm not helping him find no fake woman. We're gonna go ahead and beat him down too. Once again, the knockout ability on these boxing gloves I found comes in handy. After knocking him unconscious, I take off my boxing gloves and then proceed to beat him down. Then continuing out of Good Springs, I come to the Powder Ganger camp I stop at during every New Vegas run. And then I proceed to beat these powder gangers down and to death. They're actually a lot easier to fight than the gecko hoods. After doing that, it's back to check to sell off some stuff and buy those weapon repair kits back. Then traveling back to the camp, I immediately blew my foot off. Of course it has to be my left foot, huh? I try to sleep. Forgetting that you can't heal while sleeping, and I'm woken up by Hello, Mr. Malcolm Holmes. I don't like when old men wake me up out of my sleep, so I proceed to beat him to death too. And then it's up the road during day. I run into big horners, which I think they're just big horners. I can beat them easily. I could in fact not beat them easily. After getting killed by the big horners, I decide to try and take out the mole rat. He's more my speed. I deal with him pretty easily Ed, with a knockout punch, and then I run into a second mole rat who kills me immediately. Luckily I knock him out pretty quick, and time to punch him. I then discover Prim Pass and wonder why do I never use this to cut off Prim and Nipton? I've been through here many times and I don't remember why I've never gone through Prim Pass. Then I quickly realize why I don't go through Prim Pass, and the Death Claw kills me. Not to be deterred, I try and think I can sneak past the Death Claw with my base stat sneak skill. It doesn't work at all. So after a reload, I do the only thing sensible, and run away from there, and go down through Nipton. After seeing Oliver Swank celebrating his lottery win, I get pissed, because if I can't win the lottery, Neither can he, so I proceed to beat him to death as well. He's actually a lot faster than me. But I finally catch up with him and beat his ass down. My lottery ticket now, boy. After heading inside to fight boxcars for some reason, I discover that he's not as hurt as he says he is because he can run around pretty, pretty quick. He then hides in the corner, and I proceed to punch him in the head till he expires. Next, I head upstairs, and I drink all the gamer girl bath water I can hold. I'm gonna leave you with these slurp sounds. After getting my fill of the bath water, I head to the Viper Ambush. And I immediately ignore it and go and fight the one viper on the left, so I don't have to fight the whole ambush. At this point, guns kind of tear through me because I'm only wearing leather armor. 
So I try and avoid every fight I can. This also kind of backfires because I'm now very under level. Anyway, I head to the old dinosaur, Dinky the T-Rex. And I finally buy some spike knuckles. From Chet, I head to Ranger Andy to learn his unarmed ability. Yeah. And then insult his inability to walk. Then I use my big brain to disarm the trap. Head back to Ranger Andy and then learn the unarmed to strike. It's kind of hard with my controls backwards to remember which one's S and which one's uh, W. At the 188, I level up. Now I'm finally level 3. Pump some skills into lock picking so I can pick average locks. I'll never really pick any locks from here on out. And then I repair all my equipment with Samuel. I then decide to take on these NCR troopers for the XP. And the Spike Knuckles make short work of them as well. Next I'm at the Gunrunners. This is also where I decide that I'm not going to use the Power Fist or the Bladed Gauntlet. And I'm just going to stick to the Spike Knuckles and stuff. Anyway, once in Freeside, it's time to beat down Rotface for looking at me funny. And I decide I might as well beat up Dixon too while I'm here for his XP. I head into Mick and Ralph, and they somehow see me stealing through the floor. Had enough? So they get beat down as well. I head outside, level up finally, and take the Cannibal Burke. Which I'll only ever use one time during this run and completely forget about it. Anyway, onto the strip. Submit to a credit. Once inside the Tops Casino, I decide that I'm not going to give up my weapons. And I'm just going to proceed to punch everyone to death. It's pretty easy in this area to do unarmed fighting because no one has armor on. There's a lot of enemies, but with no armor, it's pretty easy. After finishing off the top floor manager and then fighting the rest of the chairman, which I make pretty short work of again because with no armor on, this, is, this area is really easy. After dealing with all of them, I level up again. I'm now level 6. Take the toughness perk for the damage resistance, and then I proceed to beat Benny down. He's an easy fight too. Honestly, you'd think he'd be a harder fight, but he's not. I head into the next room. I deal with all the chairmen in there. And after dealing with all the gamblers in the main casino as well, I get another level up. Next, I head into the white gloves. I proceed to beat them down. They're a harder fight, so I die. After clearing out the room, I decide to beat down Chauncey. He stands on a table for some reason. After that, I go and clear out the rest of the bar. Take on Mortimer. He runs away. I didn't even know he could do that. Then I level up again. Finish out unarmed. I try and take on Marjorie. She's way tougher than I thought she would be. While chasing her down, Come on. I proceed to get Come beaten on. to death again. After a few attempts at this, I finally get everyone cleared. I deal with Marjorie pretty easily then. After that, it's back out to the main casino. And time to deal with Mortimer again. After finishing out the casino, I head to the followers to get patched up. Pay the cheap 75 caps for her to fully heal me. That's never happened before. Now I decide to head to Cottonwood Cove to join up with the Legion. But first I gotta deal with some NCR troopers in the way. I make short work of these guys, they're pretty easy to fight. One on one, one on two. I make short work of these guys, they're pretty easy to fight. After being shunned by the NCR, I'm immediately jumped by the Since Rangers. You and then I proceed to try and fight the rangers for about 
I don't know, 15 minutes or so. It doesn't end well at all. I immediately, of course, die to these rangers right here. I reload, I try again, I get killed again, I get killed again, I get killed again, I get one shot. I get killed again. I continue trying the fight. It does not go well. I then try and lure them to the Legion, who tell me how easy the fight is. They do not help me at all. They just ignore the NCR Rangers, and I die again. After losing for the 100,000th time, I decide I might as well just run away. Finally at Cottonwood Cove after all that. It's time I travel to meet with Caesar Salad. Legionary. Inside of his tent, I discover that he looks more like Mr. Clean than a Caesar Salad, but... So it's time to head for the bunker. I like after speaking to Mr. House and pretty much just right ignoring thing. him, the I come to the hardest part of the challenge. These goddamn generators. I forgot that you cannot punch out these generators. I don't know if there's any way you can do it. I then try and run up where you install the platinum chip to take a look. And I get turned into Swiss cheese. Well, it's back down to try and punch the generators some more. After trying for about 10 minutes, I decide I have to use a gun. I have to shoot all three generators, and I fail the challenge. I even went into another game and tried it with a power fist just to see if that would have worked. It doesn't. So I head back to Caesar. He tells me Good. to kill Mr. House. Don't know what kind of security he. And then I proceed to punch Mr. House's body. Mr. House looks pretty nasty anyway, so. I want you to offer them an I go back to Caesar. He wants me to go deal with the boomers. I beat down an old lady in her home. Then I head outside and I deal with Raquel. And then Loyal. And Jack, just for a good measure. Then I head to go and get love and hate from the Viper leader over by the Great Cons. Next I ignore going back to Caesar. And instead I use Veronica to get me in the bunker before I tell her to get lost. Okay, then I guess. Then I take the head scribe's key card, the head paladin's key card, and Elder Macklemore's key card. Then I pretty much just run away from everyone. I detonate the bunker. And, you know, just for good measure, I decide I'm gonna go kill Veronica off too, so she can join her family in hell as well. She's a pretty easy fight because she doesn't fight back. Then it's back to Mr. Headache, who yells for some reason. And he tries to tell me about going to the Brotherhood of Steel, but I just pretty much ignore this part because I've already finished it. Then using my expert medical knowledge, I diagnose it with scolatosis. And he wants me to fix his stupid auto-dock. So I grab the part from the bunker, and I remove his brain tumor with the magic machine. Level up again. Then it's off to deal with President Kimball who has very lax security, especially with my master plan, of punch him to death and then quickly run away before I get killed. I definitely didn't die here 15 times or anything. It's finally time for the damn fight, which is way easier than you'd think because everyone ignores you here, and you pretty much never get shot. So, it's time for olive oil. He yaps on for a minute, and then I fight him in the best spot possible. We fortified this place. Hiding behind the door. I hide behind my door. I pop out, give old olive oil the one two wombo combo. And then proceed to easily kill every NCR trooper in here. Except this ranger, for some reason, would not die. I spent about 10 minutes punching this guy, and for some reason, his armor class could not be penetrated through. 
Then I head back to the Legate, and I answer my question. Can I beat Fallout New Vegas? Unarmed? On the hardest difficulty? With inverted controls? So the who had cheated death not really. In the not if you side with the Legion, because you can't break generators with your fists. Once again. If you made it all the way through the video, drop me a like, hit that subscribe button, and let me know how I did. I'm hoping to do some more challenge videos across the different Fallout games and some other titles. If you have any suggestions for challenges, games, etc., leave me a comment, and I might include your idea in the next video. Anyway, until next time, see ya!